Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Instagram DM reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang, Sushan, the Scolding Hot Assam? What is the tea? I would like some more tea. Today we are back for a new Instagram DM reactions. As I always say, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who comes and sends me everything over on Instagram to react to. If you do love these videos, come send me things to react to over on Instagram and maybe you could be in the next one. And of course, as I've been saying for the past couple of weeks, if you do enjoy the reaction videos, also make sure you come follow me over on Twitch. We do live reactions over on there. Roly West over there, there's a link down below. Come follow me, come join the live reactions. But yes, today, we're looking through your own Instagram DMs. So we never know what we're going to get. We're going to get a tattoo fail, a piercing fail, some like, nice messages, some gout. We'll never know, girls. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I did my intro wrong. Die. He's not very nice. So this is from Julia. And they have sent me. So what is this? Come on, open it. Okay, so piercing my smiley, because that's a good thing to do with just your bare hands. Brushing my teeth. Oh, yes. Yeah, Scrub-a-dub-dub. I've got gout. Cleaning what I'm using, yes, because on just some random work surface. And the balls are on the side. Like, the balls are on the other side as well. Why are you not cleaning the other ball? Drying it and touch just touching it with your bare hands. Yes, because this is clean. These people, people have no idea when it comes to, like, hygiene, do they? Poking to see where, where it hurts less. You're just going to poke random... Ew! <gasps> They're like twisting the needle to see it's in. Oh God! <sighs> if you can't love yourself, yes. <gasps> okay, so I've also been sent this. Emma so pierced her cartilage. This and is her daughter. Gonna, uh, finish piercing a hole that I think closed on my second hole. Don't try so with these. Where'd you get them? <laughs> They're from Amazon. All right, because Mother you can trust everything that's in Amazon. See, you need your hair. Are you not going to wear gloves? No. Right just going to like here. touch your kids. I find it so weird when okay. parents happily do this to their child. I'm like, do you not care about your child's well being? Like, do you not care if your child gets like a really disgusting infection? Don't watch further if you don't want to hear lots of swearing. The earring just fell. So I had to bleed because. So basically, she just said FFF. And a potato! They just dropped the piercing on the floor. It just dropped on the ground. No, it's not going to be sanitized. Hold the potato. Hold the potato. So you drop it on the floor, say, oh, now it's not sanitized, but you're holding just a random potato, because I'm sure that's clean. I don't like to show my younger kids on... Okay. This this whole video is very strange. Like, why are you making this video? Blocking the camera, then you're blurring half of it because the child's in. And now she's, like, swearing. Con why are you letting your child just, like, swear <laughs> like that? It's true. Is it bleeding? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it supposed oh, to bleed? Oh, there's blood now pouring down her ear. Won't somebody bleed? Do you not love it's, your child? I mean, do you like it? That is Claire's disgusting. <laughs> so much just happened then. I need, to, I need to just dissect everything that just happened then. So she just buys some needles off Amazon, goes to pierce the flat part of her, the up, like the flat part of the section of the ear, drops the piercing on the floor, then just picks it back up and puts it through the ear after using a potato at the backing, while her child is like swearing profusely, constantly swearing. Like, why are you just allowing your kid to swear like that? But like, if I was around a child who was suddenly saying, oh. Every 10 seconds, I'm like, can you stop swearing, please? I find the whole thing about just allowing your child just to swear like that just very bizarre. But like, you just put a like, dirty thing in the ear and the ear looked disgusting towards the end. But you're like, oh no, now it's not going to be sanitized as if it was clean before. As if anything you were doing was clean. Weird. 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 But what the hell is this? Okay, so this is from Channing Sheridan. What they said. Oh, is that someone's bum? Oh, of no, course, that, no. This is, I'm gonna to, I, I, I don't know how much I can show this. So maybe I'll blur the middle half of it. But basically, it's a corset piercing from like the back, the, the lower back, the top of the lower back, all the way down past the bum, through the bum, and then down some of the back of the thighs. What's happening? I said, what, what, in the butt? I said, what, what, in the butt? You wanna do it in my butt? In my butt? You wanna do it in my butt? <sighs> Jail. I mean, sure. If this is what you really want, you want a nice corset piercing to seal up the booty girls, that's absolutely fine. You know what? You live your life, girl. You live your life. Oh, my bum is in jail. No one goes into my jail. Oh, I'm jail. This bitch is crazy. I feel like YouTube has literally just destroyed my brain. And now I, I don't know what day it is, what I'm doing, what's... <sighs> You're a mess, woman. So this is from Ash, and they have said the tiniest fingers have the mightiest. Oh, oh no, the baby's got hold. Oh, babies and piercings do not mix. 
Wow. Yeah, babies, like, gr the grip strength of a baby is so intense. Like, them getting hold of your... Oh, no, 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 And it can happen so quickly as well. You can just hold a baby and it's like, nah, look away for two seconds. And all of a sudden, it's like, die! Babies and hissings do not mix. Oh, God! This is from Izzy and they've sent me th this... <gasps> baby! Baby, baby, reject what's happening. We, well, that was an awful song. Swat. What is going on? But this happened many times. Why did you not learn the first and second time that maybe the third time isn't a good choice? Wow. Baby, 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 death. As you can see, I'm a wonderful singer. Not every ear can have an industrial girls. Oh, God. <gasps> Oh, look at the ear afterwards, you. That ear looks like it's like been like hacked away by like a knife or something like, wow. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, mid-session, I'm in love, killed it. I can't wait to be back and do some more shading and touch-ups. See you in two weeks, thank you. <sighs> Octobussy girls. <laughs> I mean, a little while ago, we saw the thing about the spiders coming up, the minge minge. Imagine if like now it was like, hello, I've got octopus things coming out of my booty hole. I'm not an ass person, so I would never be like going, you know, we're not gonna go too into detail, but like I would never have to go see someone's man's blair and then I see octopus. But look, if say I was, and I was going, whatever, going, going to town, and then I just suddenly saw all these octopus tentacles coming out of your hole, like that is the, that is the least attractive thing. I've ever, like what? So I've also been saying this, I brought a tattoo, a tattoo gun off Amazon. This, d what? I'm gonna tattoo myself every day for a month, what? Oh, for God's sake. Are you even at the legal age? Day two of tattooing myself every day for a month. What are you doing? Oh, are you... No... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. Why would you do this? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. God, day four tattooing myself every day. Oh, at least you got gloves this time. Jesus Christ. Why are you doing this? Oh, what's happening? Beetroot, what? Oh, it's so bad. Do your, at least do it on your leg, like your upper thigh or something where people can't see. Oh, wow. It is what it is in a gravestone, wonderful. I can't wait to die. I'm not gonna be here for 30 days watching this for 30, I'm not, I'm not sitting through all this crap. Love, please guys, love yourself more. Love yourself more. Love yourself more. I just get, I'm just skipping through the, I'm just skipping through it because it's, oh, it looks so, why? I don't understand why you want your arm to look like some like random sketchbook. Like when people say you'll regret them when you're you'll regret it when you're older. And I know most of it's like shut up boomers, stop being annoying. But stuff like this, even I'm like, you're gonna regret that when you're older. I just think it looks tacky. I just think it looks tacky and all like I just want you to love yourself more. <laughs> You can't love yourself. Die. Guys, please don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do stuff like this. Go to a professional. If you're someone who wants to train to be a tattoo artist, get fake skin. You can buy fake skin and you can tattoo on that. And if, you're, if you must do it on yourself, do somewhere where you can hide it, like on your upper thigh or something where it's not as visible. Like on your... No, I just hate it. I just think it looks awful. It just looks bad. And it just looks like I, I'm doing this because I think it makes me look cool. I just hate it. I hate it. Okay, so what the hell is this? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's illegal. Oh no. <gasps> Oh no, oh this poor kid, no, no, no. Clearly doesn't want a piercing. Clearly doesn't want a piercing. No, that's really sad. I'm just gonna blur the whole video because I just don't think it's appropriate to show this. Essentially, this kid looks about six, maybe seven, maybe a bit old, like about six, to, I was seven maximum, I would say. In a piercing place and having a fit about not wanting, like clearly doesn't want to get a piercing, holding their ears, shouting, sort of kicking and screaming. And then like the piercer and then the mum is holding the child down to then do the piercing. That's disgusting. You are a terrible parent if you're doing this to your child. This is child abuse. Like, this is actual death. This is the definition of child abuse. Like, absolutely disgusting. When you are holding your child down, who is actively telling you that they do not want this, and they're crying and screaming, and you're going, no, you're gonna do it. And holding them down, disgusting. Electric chair. So, this is from, oh, Jesus Christ. This is from Kim. Oh, God, not the... It's another black alien project, man. I he he's wearing. Is there sound? Hang on, wait, wait. Is there sound? Is there sound in this? Is there sound? Hang on, I can't hear anything. Hang on. 
Jesus! What a shocking noise! I'm turning that sound off. Absolutely not. So I don't remember what this guy is called. He's essentially another one of those Black Alien Project people. He's cut off his nose, filed his teeth down, all that shit, tattooed his whole face, loads of implants and things. Because this is the guy that was like, he never did this until he met his girlfriend. And his girlfriend was like obsessed with body modifications. And now his goal is to be her masterpiece. And I was like, it's giving me bad ick. It's giving me bad, bad vibes if like she's making you do it or something. Or like, it just gave me all like really bad vibes. It felt a little bit like weird relationship power dynamic. dynamic. I don't get it. If this, if this is honestly what you want to look like and you want to live your life, girl, and it's wonderful, fabulous. But I think it just looks terrifying. <laughs> it's the whole like removing of the ears and removing of the nose and like doing all that kind of stuff. I'm like, I, to me, it's too far and I'm just like, oh no, I don't, I'm, I'm really not here for that. Okay, so what is, the slight, the slight cross on her ear and the glue on her fingers is a struggle. Wait, what? So, stretch, oh, what is on their finger? What is that on their finger? St what is that? Yeah, you could at least like, I mean, the ear isn't terrible, but you could at least like, just give it a little bit of a wash beforehand. Give it a little, what's on their fingers? Cocaine? It says in the description, how to put on the coolest hoops. Is that the coolest hoops you've ever seen? On the scale of coolness, would you say this is like the coolest of the cool? Am I cool, kids? No. So this is from Tarina Hoffman and they've sent me this warning graphic content. What is this? So, oh, is this like a piercing? Is this a piercing play thing? Piercing play, I've got gout. So, oh God, wow. Oh, it's just wet. Oh, it's just a bit wasteful, isn't it? Oh no. The skin looks like bruised. Oh God. Sure, live your life, girl. I've made my opinions on like piercing play very clear at this point, but yeah, I just I just feel like it's wasteful. My friend could do it cheaper. You need better friends. It's like a really rejecting, <laughs> rejecting trigger. So yeah, literally all the things that we react to. I think a lot more happens. I think a little bit more with tattoos, but the amount of stuff that we react to is like clearly you've just gone to your mate and they've just gone. I'll do it for you. Don't worry about going to a professional. They don't know. F Call about anything, girls. Now I guess she's on crack. I need to do another piercing memes video. I've not done a piercing memes video in like years. I need to do a piercing memes video. Maybe that can be my next video. Piercing memes done. See, that was easy. So this is awesome. Oh, oh no, stop it. No, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Stop, stop, stop. No, I'm not doing it. No, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Things like suspension. And when you can see like the skin being pulled, I absolutely hate it if it's fake i still hate it if it's not i still hate it like i hate it 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 so um, again suspension is one of those things that just gives me so much ick i'm like oh what happens if it just rips and you rip a hole through your skin oh absolutely not girls it's not for me okay so this is from strange elation eye gout what got this piece like four or five hours ago but it's normal looking swelling bruised by wow Oh God, your poor eye. I mean, your eye area is very sensitive. I've never had like surface piercings, anything around here. So I don't know exactly what, what the reaction was. But when I had my eyebrow pierced, I got a black eye for like a week. My whole eye like just swelled up and like went black. And both times I had my eyebrow piercings, both times I got a black eye. This doesn't look great. But I don't think it's like devastatingly wrong. But may, I, again, I've never had anything here. So I don't, I can't, I can't give you like a professional advice i would maybe just say contact the piercer and be like is this normal so this is from chad and i mean this cute thing this cute little um sailor moon tattoo as the these dogs are from like wario wear aren't they but what these, these piercings underneath it oh it looks disgusting do people really want this cheese ragoon earrings with a bit of crap do, do people want this do people really want this no oh ew it looks horrible do people want that do people want this? Is there a need for this? Do people want this? Oh, I don't like it. Oh God, in case it's Lulu's. So this is, she came in for three piercings, but left with a whole new look. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know exactly. I'm assuming they're just doing way more. This video is like 10 minutes long, so I don't really want to sit through the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of skim through it, but they, they've done two ear piercings now already. So she came in for three piercings. I'm just going to explain what happens. She came in for three piercings and then they've convinced her to get more. They're going to get how many? That's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the rest? So that's seven. I have I have things to say about Lulu's. I've mean, spoke I spoke about them many times before, like over the years. But like, God, they keep getting more. How is it? I don't get how these are professional. How how as a professional studio, professional studio, you can film these videos and put them online as if like 
It's fine. It's gross. The fact that this has 13,000 views, but only 400 likes says a lot. Like that says a lot. That says a lot. So I just skimmed to the end of the video just because it's quite long. So Jesus Christ, they got Traegers as well. Oh, wow. They got all that done in one go. One, two, three. Wow. Stupid. Dumb. Dumb. When you go from having zero piercings to having nine piercings in one ear in one go, I looked at the comments, but it's nine piercings, to have nine piercings in one go, when you are not used to having a couple of piercings, it's gonna be so difficult to you to get used to having, suddenly having all of that metal in your ear. It takes a long time to get used to just having one new piercing let alone all of that, you're not going to sleep very well. Your body's going to find that incredibly difficult to heal. Your body can't heal all that stuff in one go. It's really hard for your body to heal that much stuff. There's so much trauma for your body to go through. What makes it worse is the fact that these are professional body piercers with a piercing channel on YouTube. They were going to send me things to do a piercing stuff. Like back when I went like really big, I got in contact with like, well, no, they got in contact with me and said that they were going to send me like jewelry and stuff and I could do like a haul video. I was really excited about it. But then like they said that I had to pay the custom charge. Now, but then it was like the custom charge charge was like 200 pound. It was really high. And at that time as well, I didn't really have much money. And I was like, I'm not paying for all of this jewelry for then for me to give you free promotion. And then you're going, yeah, you can do it. We'll just send you stuff. But then I still have to pay customs charge. That's not how like sponsorship brand deals work. It's really weird. They, they, they were like, no, I had to pay the custom charge. I was like, absolutely not. Like if you want me to promote your channel and you're not actually giving me money, like you at least pay the, give me the products. I'm not going to, what stupid the the idea that they would just post this but i used to like them i used to like them years ago and i thought they were cool but as time went on they cared more about getting views and clout and clicks rather than actually being like professional studios so like there was that video of like surprising people and doing like they were doing like body piercings inside like a lift like when people were, like an elevator that is just and they've, they, they've just done lots of things over the years that i'm like you aren't as prof like as professional as i thought you were and now that i know so much more about the industry like you're just not a professional studio is that tea like this you care more about getting attention and likes and clicks than actually people's safety and like people's health and I just don't like it so they give me the ick I haven't, I haven't looked this is a year ago this video is posted so I don't know exactly like what they do now but they just give me the ick and I just think it's bad it's bad publicity bad PR the comments in this section have been very like the same as what I've just said I used to like you but now you care too much about views and all these things and yeah nine piercings in one go you're gonna struggle have fun sleeping so this is from kim and they have sent me a facebook link so you know it's gonna be insane okay so oh we've got a brat doll. oh giving a bridge piercing to a brat doll girls god sure beautiful delicious oh and now they're gonna give her a lip piece oh oh directly into the lip straight <laughs> straight in stab inside the mouth D beautiful oh oh Oh, now this person's getting a nose piercing, a nose hoop. Wonderful. Very they them. I hope kids don't actually do this with bits of metal because this is, I know it's dolls and things and like, I just worry that kids might look at this and go, I'm going to cut things in half and cut myself with like sharp edges of bloody paper clips. Beautiful. A double earring for a lovely ear. Oh, oh. Okay, you're having a lobotomy, girls. I'm getting my lobotomy done at Claire's. Join us, father. <laughs> wow. A lovely septum piercing on a beautifully androgynous man. Imagine mis imagine missionary with this dude and you get a Dobby locking eyes with you. Bro got Dobby on his chest. Oh, God. Dedicating my whole chest to Harry Potter and then JK ends up being transphobic. Again, be careful what you get put on your chest. I mean, it's a bit different having like Harry Potter, right? Like if you had JK Rowling herself, then that's a little bit different. So I can, it's kind of like, well, you've kind of had the characters, so you can kind of have some kind of detachment, I guess, in a way. Harry Potter here looks like the crimson chin. Dobby looks like he's in a K-hole. You've got like Tinkerbell here on your arm as well. I mean, sure. I mean, if this is what you're into, again, like... It's difficult when it comes to Harry Potter. Like, I don't support Harry Potter, but like, I grew up with the films and I'm very, like, attached to the story. I mean, like, this is what we did when we were kids and stuff, but like, I would obviously never buy anything or support JK Rowling now. Throw it away in the outside garbage. Originally, imagine mystery in this dude, you just get locked eyes with Toppy. <laughs> uh, something tells me that you probably don't need to worry about this because I think he might be, um, you know. Certainly not. What kind of a person does he think I am anyway? Okay, so I was also sent this to Angel Fang's Vertical Abrettes Day 1. So they're getting... Okay, so they've got... I mean, their get-up is very intense. So they... Four hours later, okay. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, God! Sorry, I had to blur that. There was so much blood pouring out of their lips. I cannot put that. So day three, they're bruised. Gosh. 
I just can't imagine things like that being comfortable to live with. Like having them like, like on here like this. Day five, pain seven out of ten. God, it's maybe stop poking it with your nails. Oh God. They're taking they're taking lots of pills. Pill up, girls! God, day 12, and it's even like swollen. It's like really swollen. Oh god. What's happening? Oh no, is it gonna go terribly? Don't use fabric towels! Don't ugh. Any wound you have, don't use fabric towels. If any of that shit gets into- Oh no, don't use fabric towels. Finished. I mean, I'm glad that it kind of healed okay, but yeah, you were lucky. Don't use fabric towels. Wow. When you have any kind of like piercings or tattoos or anything, if you need to dry it or something, just use, use, use like a kitchen roll, like paper towel. Do not use fabric towels. They harbor bacteria. If any of that little, a little tiny bit of fabric can get into your piercing or get into your tattoo or whatever, can cause infections, don't use fabric towels. Just get a kitchen roll and just dab things clean. If you oh my God, what is this? What's it? Honey, a caged. My eyes are caged, caged. You can't see me. Oh dear. I mean, there, there has to be stuck on, but like caged, caged. You can't, I'm caged, caged, caged. Just like my caged booty at the beginning, now it's a caged eye. Caged, honey, honey, I shrunk the cage. What's wrong with him? It's giving rope. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving robotic cyberpunk English Defense League member. Wonderful. This is from Alfie. And so I, <laughs> this is triggering. I uh, downloaded like the beta, the new like um, Photoshop beta to see like what this AI thing was like, to see what you could do anything. This is the original image I used. And then this is what I changed it into. Yeah, I, it's, um, I, I can't remember exactly what I typed in now to get all this stuff. I put like metal teeth and then I put like, uh, it was like weird sunglasses or something. This whole like, and this is me, I was doing it really quickly. So it wasn't like I was um like taking my time. This was literally like five minutes of just like typing shit in. Like if I actually spent time really trying my hardest to do AI proper stuff on photos, I could, it's insane. This, the fact that this was just like really quick typing in without and like I was just kind of like circling bits of my face. It's really terrifying how like how good this bit like this looks really good. Like you can't really see many edges like everything looks good and that was literally with not me not even trying. If I actually spent time like going around bits and doing things properly, AI is actually kind of sc scary. Scary girls. Oh my god. Get a grip. Oh, it's her again. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. I have spoken about her a few times, but I still, again, I still constantly keep getting sent her. There's always these people over time of doing YouTube where, like, no matter how many times I talk about them, obviously, new people don't go back necessarily to watch old videos and they don't know. And I always get sent the same people a lot of the time over and over again. So, like, Remy, one of my friends from America, I got sent him loads of times. He's got loads of face tattoos and everything, blah, blah. blah. And I, you know, I spoke about it many times. The Back Alien Project, another one, I always get sent. And this is another woman who I get sent all the time because she's, like, got, like, a larger TikTok and obviously across any other video that comes out, suddenly they get more people tag me in them. So I've seen this woman for a long time. I've been following her for a while. I really like her. She's very sweet. She's lovely. Um, Cause a lot of the time there was like videos of her. I remember she put one in where like people were going, what does your daughter think? Why wouldn't you, why would you do this to yourself? Think about your daughters, like her daughter loves it. Um, I really like this woman. She's really nice. Of course, this isn't something that I would do necessarily to myself, but there's nothing like everything's clean. She does it all professional. She doesn't sit at home piercing herself. It's like, again, my biggest thing is I don't care how you look. If you want to do something to yourself, fine. Absolutely fine. As long as you do it right. I think sometimes people think that I have a problem with people being heavily modified. And that's not the issue. My issue is when people do it poorly and then promote it so that other people will think that's okay, which is bad. So I'm Asragu Art and they sent me this subclavicle piece. God, this is, oh. So this is like subclavicle ones like along here on like collarbone. You can, there's like two versions where you can get ones that sort of like horizontal kind of like follow the natural, like natural shape. And there's another one where it kind of goes underneath the bone, which is absolutely just shocking. Like that shouldn't be, like shouldn't be legal. Don't do that. Like you shouldn't be effing around with that kind of stuff. Like going actually underneath, absolutely not. But this is, this is, um, wow. And, but it's like a straight bar as well. They've done, they've done it with a straight bar, not even like a curved bar though. At least get like, an actual, like the actual bar that's meant for it. Don't get a straight one. Like, I think this is the thing. I think a lot of this time though, like these kind of surface piercings are kind of dying out now anyway. When I was first getting piercings, surface piercings like this are really common. Like ones along the hip line, or like the back of like the lower back or like the subclavicle, like this, you know, the, the collarbone ones or like wrist, I had my wrist done, had the back of my neck done. Like surface piercings were actually really big with like the, you know, surface bars and stuff. Now, I feel like people tend to sway to more like more towards dermals, which I think are better anyway. To have a straight bar, like that's wow. Take this is gonna scar you up so bad. So, oh, here's some, this is from Jennifer Girls, and they have sent me this. So this person's doing more piercing play like over the back. But like they've got feathers attached to it. Like, is that very sanitary? Like, just having like feathers? Just like that. Is that okay? Hmm. 
Sure. Oh, because another person doing it as well. Jesus. We love feathers. I've got feather wings. Fly on the wings of gout. Oh, God. Sure. I'm an angel and I'm a devil. We fight girls. Mortal combat. Sure. I just, is that, I just, I'm not sure about the cleanliness of what we just watched. Is that okay? So this is from Olivia and they've said that this video is from Reddit gave me major ick. So let's see what it is. So this person got a bridge pit. Oh! Oh! Oh, vile. Oh, I hate it. Just put a, th put a thicker bar in, get a bigger ball so it doesn't sink through. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I mean... It could be infected. I mean, it doesn't. Look, it looks quite angry, to be honest. I'm not sure exactly like what the tea is with this. It might be going through so easily because you've just put like a thinner bar in it or whatever. Make sure the ends are thicker so they can't just like go through. I always say get spikes because the bottom half of it is flat. Balls tend to like sink into piercings more. If you get like a spike or if you get like those little discs, like it's flat and then the, the you know the swelling around the outside can't can't go over it, so it tends to shrink. Oh, God, it's this person. So. Yeah, I, I mean, this is another one of those people that get sent to me a lot all the time. And it's like the person who, I think, um, so this, are these, the, I don't think, are these the same people? This top guy here, did he chain himself back to this? So originally this guy was like, I want to make myself look like the, the red skull. It was like the red, is it a Marvel or DC villain? He's like, oh, this is the photo. He wanted to make himself look like this. So he like got his nose cut off and put implants in and started tattooing his face red. Although, does he look like this now? Has he like changed his look to look like this? I actually don't know. I don't know if these are the same people. When you modify this yourself, there's much as hard to tell. But like, again, it's the cutting, it's all, I don't know what this thing is about cutting off your nose. I don't understand cutting off your nose like what why because i'm an idiot happy it's definitely an interesting choice isn't it like when i see this person down here i just think you look terrifying and i would find it really difficult to have a conversation with you because i can just see like right into your nose cavities do you want to look at my gaping orifice Ooh, sounds delish okay so i was also sent this hang on this sound wait so I oh my, what, so what the hell is happening way too loud what's happening they had a tongue. So Wait, what? And my tongue is so inflated. So this person had a tongue piercing and it's inflated. Oh, ew. Oh, you that's an infection, girl. Basically, it's a Oh, she's got a fungal infection in her tongue. Because the too much salt caused the water to leave oh, my tongue. Oh, God. Which changed the, you know, the natural flora of my tongue. Which... Cause this, so they're giving me a magic, a magic mouthwash. mouthwash. So I kind of just skimmed through it because it was quite a long video. It basically heard us talking about what happened to a tongue and all that stuff. But like, wow, look at the tongue. Like, I really hope we managed to get this sorted out. Um, I hope this magic mouthwash you're talking about actually works and gets it fixed. But like, wow. Because like, you could, if you've got like actual infection, like a fungal infection, you would need probably antibiotics as well, not just like a magic mouthwash. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping this was actually from, from a doctor because the salt content dried out the tongue so much. It like removed all of like the natural, oh, I, oh God, no. It sounds awful, but like the smell of your breath. Oh my God. That is probably one of the worst like tongue infections I think I've ever actually seen. I've got a title for the video. So this is from Esme and they have sent me a video. So what is this? Hello, play. Come on, play. What's going on, play? Okay, so, wait, is this, wait. Lot, but they are a size down from what I want to be. So they're uh, stretching their size, ears? The way that I do it is I get some tape and I wrap it around. Usually just <gasps> No, you're not using sellotape, are you? Strips does the trick. <sighs> you're not supposed to do this, but I haven't had any issues. Don't promote shit like this. Just because you're fine doesn't make it okay. I'll be at my goal size in like a Right. Week. So they're using the tape method to stretch their ears. I always find when you get to a certain size, I always find it a lot easier to when I go to like get to this size and to get to my conch size, I use a tape method, but I use tape that's actually meant for it. Literally just go on Google and type in ear stretching tape and you can find tape that's meant for this. Do not use sellotape. Like if any of that glue comes out and then gets into your ear and because you're like, you're still stretching, even if it's micro stretching, you're still stretching. Like you don't want any of that glue to get into like parts of your ear that's being stretched or whatever. Like you can just cause yourself so many infections and shit like don't use sellotape use actual stretching tape you can find it easily just go on google you can find stretching tape that is meant for this don't use sellotape call the police so this is from lulu rsl so this is from, oh god music now nah, look good with my gucci on so they're getting a piercing so they just sort of oh this is one of those strange bars i don't know what these kind of bars are cz stud and you're just kind of like so like they pierce the ear with the stud though, but like what is it? It's, it's not gonna be a needle. So I don't I don't really understand what this is. I'm really confused by these kind of jewelry. I don't really understand what it is. Like, cause look, there's no needle or anything. They just shove the 
No. Oh. Because if you look, there's no needle in it. They just literally get the bar and just shove it through the ear. So I don't know what this is because it, I'm sure it's not as... It looks like you've just sort of shoved a blunt object through the ear. What is it? Oh, I don't understand what this is. And then, like, they twist it to keep it in. But, like, that means to change it, you'd have to go back to a piercer. Like, that would be really difficult to take out on your own. I don't know enough about this to really make that much of a comment on it. But, like, I just don't feel like it seems like a good idea. I recommend knowing before speaking. So this is from TT and they've sent me this. So, oh God, uh, they've used a, a gun on a belly button piercing and then this is the outcome. Wow, well, like, what were you expecting? What are you expecting to do? A gun on a belly button piercing, stupid, stupid. Sorry, you get no, when, when things like this happen, I'm like literally no sympathy. Like how could you think this was a good idea? I mean, that's just natural selection. How anyone could think doing a belly button piercing with a gun is a good idea. Like I just, uh, th that's so, so out, like, out in the out in the bizarre world. I don't get it. How? So this is from Kaylee and they have, oh, for God's sake, what the hell is this? <gasps> oh, you joking? Oh, you, sh are you joking? I'm actually gobsmacked, like fully gobsmacked. We saw that video earlier one about the child who was like being held down to take piercings. Again, I'm gonna have to blur a lot of this. This is literally an infant, it must, not even what, what, like an infant who like what, a, looks like a month old, a month, one or two months old, like, and they've got six ear piercings. And one of them is through the top of the cartilage here going downwards. They've got like two earlobe piercings and a piercing up here that's been done with a gun vertically down through the top of the helix. That's uh. disgusting. I spit on them. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh. As an adult, getting your cartilage pierced is painful. Like it's anyone's had helix piercing, they're fucking painful. The idea that you would subject a baby to that is disgusting. That's like proper causing it actual trauma, proper trauma. Cortisol, doesn't matter if they remember it or not, the cortisol is still being flooded through the baby's body, causing it unbelievable stress. Like, that's absolutely disgusting. I hate this idea. I really hate this idea when people say, oh, they're too young, they won't remember it, whatever. Your body remembers shit. You might not remember it up here, like physically remember it. Like, I remember when this happened, but like, you're still putting these emotions and like, you still put the emotion, you still put the, like, the, the you know, the hormones and everything through the baby's body when you're doing all this shit. Like, your body will remember this stuff. Disgusting. Vile. Absolutely vile. Imagine piercing a newborn baby's ear six times. Six times. And through the cartilage. You are disgusting. So I was also sent this. Wow. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. They must be really thin bars. That is a lot of piercings to have in one little area. I mean... It's kind of cool. I don't like these sort of like silver. I mean, it could be some of the light, but like they kind of look a little bit like spots, like blackheads. I think if they were all like colored blue or like like different colors, I think I wouldn't mind it so much. I don't know. There's like, like it, I like it, but it also gives me a tiny bit of an ick. But I think the ick is coming from the fact that it like they're like some of them are like this sort of dark gray. Oh, you probably can't hear that on camera. We've had, we've had, we're having a heat wave in London at the moment and suddenly there was a huge bang. So I guess having a thunderstorm at last. We've been waiting for a thunderstorm for ages to clear the air a bit. Thunderstorm. I hate thunderstorms in the day though because they get wasted. I want to be at nighttime where you see the flash bang. So this is from Ashley and they've said, hey, really, I'm a huge fan. I love watching your videos. Thank you, girl. And it says, look at what Five Below is doing. Isn't that like $5 and everything's like $5? It's like, like, like a $5 shop in America. Five below, a train specialist make it safe and easy. You lied to me. So this is from Hannah and they've sent me this. So what is it? So piercing my nose, piercing my nose without telling my mum because she's gonna find out and then what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to take it out. Like, oh God, oh, with the cracked fingernails as well. Like, no, oh, people just, oh God. What are they even using it like a little sewing pin? A sewing pin is not gonna, is, is thinner than a piece, like a piece of jewelry. Contemplating your mind, is it what? Oh, it happened so quick. Sure. She's dead now. I'm no piercer, but this looks like a lot at once and the beginning was so aggressive. Oh, oh, wow. Scrub, scrub a dub dub. I've got gants. Never heard that one before. Right, come on, scrub it. Oh, can you like pull the hair back more? Like rubbing the hair against the ear. Dots. I mean, this. I, I'm, it's good to see that they're actually like not just putting like this pen. This is what I say. Well, I think people just using like biro pens directly on the ear. It's like, this is how you should do it. As a toothpick. So this person's getting a conch piercing. Okay. Then they're getting a helix piercing. Then they're getting a flat piercing. Are they getting a rook piercing underneath it too? There's two holes, two, two dots. Are they doing a rook piercing underneath? 
They can't, well, not with that jewelry. Surely they're not going to put a rook piercing next to it, too. That's way too big. And they're getting a Tragus piercing. I mean, we've definitely seen, other okay, case, they've just got four. We've definitely seen far worse than this. Like, obviously, three piercings maximum. Like, it's just going to be a night. Like, just having one extra, even making it to four, it's still going to be a lot di more difficult to heal. We've definitely seen far worse. Out of everything we have seen, this is actually relatively tame. Compared to, because we, we saw, like, Lulu's body piercings, for example, doing nine before in this same video. So like, it's not as bad, but yeah, still. Still, it's not a good idea. This is also from Bal. Now, I think I saw this a long time ago. Again, I've been doing these videos for like five years. It's really hard to like remember everything. I'm pretty sure I saw this a long time ago, but we'll put it in again, it's fine. Um, yeah, look at the scabby ear, lots of scabby things. This whole ear is just like, hello, I don't wash girls. It's, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot. There's, every, there's so much wrong with this picture. There's so much wrong. As I said, I think we've looked at it before, so I'm not gonna stay out very long, but yeah, it's very, Crusty Wusty, I've got gouts. So I've also sent this, and it's someone having, I mean, I'm gonna blur the bottom half because it's a, literally a child, but like, they've got like a tooth gem. I don't actually know anything about like tooth gems really. I don't, I don't really know. So is it literally just like stuck on with glue? Cause like, is it good? Like are tooth gems actually good for, I mean, obviously not good for you, but like, will it damage your tooth? I never really knew about tooth gems. Like this kid is like young. So I'm like, is it, should you maybe wait until you're at least got adult? Teeth? I'm not sure. Anyone who knows stuff about tooth gems, let me know. Is the adhesive that it uses to stick on your teeth like really bad for your teeth? So this is on Vinitas and they have said, in case you ever see this, I thought you might enjoy my rainbow ear. The coin slot is my newest and I'm so happy with it. Love your videos. Thank you, Gorge. Oh, it's all, and the conscious rainbow as well. Delicious. I love a coin slot. One of my favorite things that I can get it, but one of my favorite things is coin slot piercings and stacked ear, like stacked ear when you get the hoops, hoops. This is gorgeous. I love, I love a coin slot. This is beautiful. I love, I love, I love, and I really like your clear, uh, big ear stretch as well. Gorgeous! And the rainbow in the conch with the chain going around. Beautiful! We love, we love a beautiful ear. So this is from Bitty as well. And they've sent me, the, what the f*** uh. is this? Oh no, I hate, oh, when anyone makes like the Simpsons realistic. Oh no, stop it. Stop it. Stop macking about. Stop missing them out. Certainly not. Apps. Oh God. Oh, ew. Oh, I hate it. I already hate it. I already hate it. Oh. What? Why Vin? Out of anyone you could have picked, why? I guess because he's bald. Why Vin Diesel? Oh no! They're not going to leave the eyes like that, are they? Oh no! Oh, I hate it. This is so. This is like fully cursed image. This is fully cursed image. Cursed image. How's that curse? I cursed you with Kirsty. Oh no! Oh, that's horrible! <gasps> Ew, it's cursed! Oh, that's fully cursed. That's fully cursed image. That's fully cursed. I mean, it looks real, but it's fully cursed image. Absolutely not. No, no. Nightmares tonight, girls. Current situation. I was holding my hashtag snake in and his hashtag dumbass saw a hole, which just happened to be my effing earlobe and thought it would be a, br a bright idea to attempt to make it through it. It all happened so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> before I even knew what I was talking about. I'm out of breath now after jumping around. It was already too late. Believe it or not, I'm now sitting here in the emergency room with Bart stuck. Bart stuck in my effing ear. D can we stop with all this, like, hashtagging? Can we, like, just... Uh, what's all this, like, ra This is, like, very boomer hashtagging, isn't it? So you're holding your snake and the snake decided to jump through your earlobe and now you're like, I'm stuck, girls! Jesus Christ. Like I say, animals and piercings do not mix. So this is from Val and they've sent me this. Oh, God. Anot uh, anotomy. An anatomy is important. Yeah, this looks like, an, I'm guessing it's like an industrial piercing that they've had like here and it's like dug into the ear. But this is what happened to mine years and years ago. They did it way too close inside. And this is essentially what happened to my ear. I woke up one morning, my ear had like grown over the bar a lot of it. Sometimes you just have to accept that your body is not gonna allow you to have the piercing. Please accept it, please accept it. But also as a pierce, like piercers, like please like, if you know an ear can't have it, don't just do it because you want the money. Like actually be like, no, you can't have it girls. Sorry, get something else, bitch. This is from Megan, what is this? Oh, when you run out of space in your plants, but. <laughs> <laughs> but that won't stop me from buying more. Stop it. Stop being silly. Stop it. No, say. Hanging plant. I, for, 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 no, I can't. I can't even. Again, nipple piercings are so, like, sensitive. Even just this little tiny thing makes me go, oh. So this is from Jennifer. And they have sent me, what is going on here? So this person's got a septum piercing and they're putting some string. What are they doing? What is happening? What are they doing? What? What? Are they trying to line up their cat eye ears? What? Cat eye, cat eye ears. Cat eye wings. Oh, wow. I mean, if there's any reason to get a septum piercing, do it for this, apparently. <laughs> Sure. I mean, it looks good. I can't deny it looks good. I think it's, I'm sure there's other ways that's probably better than this, but sure. If this works for you, you live a laugh, girl. Anyway, I've had enough today. 
I'm aboard that trigger train. Chew effing chew. We're about to crash off a cliff. We are plunging to our deaths and we are squatting for Jesus. Squat for Jesus. We're back for Jesus. Jesus loves a good peach. Jesus was a bottom. Jesus loves to get raw dogged on the last supper table. Jesus was a... Anyway, so thank you for watching today's video. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. This video has been teamed too much. Too much has happened in this. I feel like I've just like, gonna have an aneurysm. I just... Wow. I just can't believe the level of insanity in some of these things. Like, it's just absolutely balmy. Like, completely balmy. Completely... I have a hundred messages on my phone. What is, why is Callum and Luxo a hundred times? Thank you for watching today's video. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you to everyone who sent me everything to react to over on Instagram. You guys are wonderful. Of course, come follow me on Instagram. Come send me things to react to. You guys are delicious. My brain is all frazzled now. Thank you to my lovely Patreons, whose name you'll see on the side of my screen here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And a massive shout out to my top tier Patreons. Amy Hudson, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Gray, Jennifer Herman, Zoe Severe, Heather McFarland, Christina Carl, Benjamin Baker, Aya, Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. There's a link down below if you would like to be a Patreon too. But anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch out there tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you don't pierce yourself at home.